Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nisar Kadam and today we are going to talk about the latest updates and features in UiPath's UiPath document understanding product. So <clears throat> you guys might be wondering why now? Why creating video after so long time? <laughs> because obviously I found a very, very uh, interesting topic to talk about. And you know, right, because since uh, I am a super strong believer in AI in 2023, and since the beginning on my YouTube channel, I love to talk about AI a lot uh, whenever there is a new update. So today I talked about it in UiPath, uh, in uh, Automation Days Asia uh, Summit, uh, 2023 organized by Sybian, which they organize every year. This time I was one of the speakers and I talked about this amazing new update of UiPath document understanding product, which is the generative AI capabilities. And that's where I wanted to share with you as well as, uh, you know, I love to talk about the generative AI capabilities a lot. And since it's mixed with my favorite product, which is UiPath document understanding, why not talk about it on my YouTube channel, right? So <laughs> here's the video. Okay. So this year in UiPath Forward 6, UiPath talked about the five top AI announcements in UiPath Forward 6. And out of these five top announcements, UiPath's document understanding was one of it. And where they majorly talked about, let's say, a couple of few pointers, okay, which I'll just highlight. Internal benchmarking uh, shows up, uh, shows our next-gen IDP experience accelerated model training by up to 80%, which uses the generative AI capability for labeling. Okay, then there is the generative AI capability for extraction and generative classifier. Now, when there is a generative classifier, generative labeling or generative annotation and generative uh, extraction, this is going to be an amazing update in UiPath's document understanding. And that's where we are going to talk about it. So let's get started without wasting our time. Okay, the document which I have picked for this is also a nice and tricky document because you always tell me that, you know, Mr. let's pick something challenging, which we can also demonstrate as a POC in your respective companies, right? So I picked this document. This document is from 1995. It's a handwritten ticket for a Bangladesh airline. The ticket is from Tokyo to Singapore and uh, it's in some Japanese currency, as you can see. It's amazing, amazing uh, handwritten data. Okay, now this ink is also not blue or black. It's a red colored ink, which makes it even more interesting. And also this is a photograph. It's not even a, a you know black and white scan document. So this is pretty tough, but the quality of the image is really good. Now it's challenging because the information is handwritten. And let's see if generative AI can take this challenge and do the magic for us. Now, what we need to do, just create a new workflow in UiPath. Download these two packages. Uh, packages are uipath.documentunderstanding.ml.activities. I have downloaded version 1.24.0 and download uipaths, uipath.intelligentocr.activities 6.14.1. Now with these two packages, I actually get certain document, uh, certain activities which are generative AI components of document understanding. So just type document here in the activities panel and you can actually check in the extractor, you can see there is a generative extractor. In the classifier, there is a generative classifier. So these are the two new activities which are coming up with the Gen AI capabilities in UiPath's document understanding. And I'm going way too fast, but just try to cope up because it's a very, very interesting topic. Since we have this ticket, let's create a taxonomy for this ticket, handwritten ticket, okay? What we will do is we'll create a group called as ticket. And under this group, we'll create a category called as flight ticket, or let's say flight. And document type is uh, handwritten. Okay. So it's a ticket flight handwritten. Okay. <laughs> Let's define some fields. Let's say uh, airline name. It's a string. Then let's define source country. Okay. Again, text. Then we need a destination country and then we need a price of the ticket which is in number or oh, sorry and then date of flight which is a date uh let's say that's all we need from this information okay from this document and you know how we can create a document understanding framework. Right? Simple. So first thing is taxonomy. So we just defined a taxonomy. Let's load the taxonomy. 
create a variable called as taxonomy. Then the next step is to digitize it. So digitize, it's an English doc, it's an it's an English document. So let's just uh, create a variable called as str doc path. Okay. Document text is nothing but doc text. Uh, this is DOM document object model. I just created three variables. That's all. I will pass the path of the file here in this variable. So go back to the file. I'll just copy as a path and come back here and paste it in the doc path. So I have the document path given to the variable. Perfect. I'm using UiPath document OCR, which is given here in the digitization by default. I have not changed any parameters. The parameters are same. Uh, you can use the classifier as well. So let's just use classifier. So use classify document scope in the classify document scope. The path of the document is this one. The doc text is this one. The document object model is this one. Taxonomy is taxonomy. Classification results is classification results. Okay. And let's use a generative classifier. I'll just drag it. Manage prompts. Now, what is the different value here in generative classifier prompt? So you have a prompt for mapping that particular data or to mapping that classification of that particular data. So it's a, a airline ticket. This is my prompt, a simple prompt. And then nothing but I'll just map it and that's all. Now we need a we need an extractor. So let's just say extraction scope. Uh, so we have a data extraction scope. Just drag it here. In the data extraction scope, the path of the file is str doc path. The doc text is doc text. The document object model is DOM. The taxonomy is taxonomy. Classification result is a classification result coming from above. But since we have only one document, I'll just pass the first index of it. And the type ID is not needed. Any one of the field of classification result or type ID is needed. And extraction result is nothing but the extraction results. Okay. And then let's use the generative extractor here. Now look at this. Prompts. Now we need to, def we get to define the prompt. So airline name. So this is the name of the airline. Source country. So I'll just say prompt is source country. Destination country, total price of ticket, and uh, date of the flight. That's all. I just gave the prompts. I did not even have to select any pre built model, nothing. I just select all this and save. And once my extraction is done, I'll just use the present validation station so that we can actually visualize the data being extracted. So, which is the main purpose, right? So doc path, doc text, document object model, taxonomy, extraction results, and let's create a validation extraction results. And the final component of the entire DO framework is nothing but the export. We are not going to export it. We don't even need it, but let's just export it to complete the framework. So validation extraction results is the final output which we will convert to data sets. Okay. Let's put up a break point here. We don't even need it, but you can just use it present validation station because we can actually visualize it. Since I have given already the information or the name uh, of the document in the digitized step. So now let's run and let's see how the generative AI extractor actually extracts the information from this handwritten data. Now let's look at the data again. Since I have executed the robot, let it run in background. See the source is Tokyo, but the country is Japan. Two is Singapore, which is the country Japan. And price of the flight is 244100. There's no name of the passenger. The airline name is this one. And the date is also on a stamp level. So let's see if UiPath's generative AI capability can actually extract this information. I would be surprised if it can extract all the information accurately. Because I have just created this workflow right in front of you. I have not even tested this document. I just tried it for the first time. And let's see what it actually does. Because even for me, it's the first time trying out handwritten data for generative AI classifier. Amazing. So 100% handwritten data. Oh, I mean, it's the type of the document, 100%. Airline name, 100%. Biman Bangladesh Airlines, which is correct. Talk about the source country, Japan, which is again correct. It found the Tokyo from here 
and it converted that Tokyo, that JPN into Japan, okay, which is amazing. Destination country, Singapore, so it picked it from here. Price is 24410 JPY, which is again correct. And the date of the flight is 1st of September, which is which it has picked from the 01. Where is it? Where it has picked? Okay, the date it has picked 01 September. Oh, okay. Which is also correct. So the stamp is not the actual date of the flight. The date of the flight it has picked as 01 September, which is correct. So overall, the extraction is correct, which is making an amazing, significant change in extracting data from documents. This type of a document is not even defined in UiPath's pre-built models because it's not a specialized AI capability. This is a complete gen AI extraction using document understanding, which we just saw. I saved it and the data has been extracted. Isn't this amazing? This is fascinating. Okay, now this we used, uh, we use generative classifier, we use generative extractor. Now these two extractors and classifiers are the generative AI capabilities of UiPath's document understanding where we actually did not even train or did not even use any AI model in the background. We did not even use any pre-built specialized AI model and we did not even train any document for that. We simply use the classifier and extractor and just gave the prompts and that's all. That's all it took to extract all the values from this particular document. Isn't this fascinating, right? So that's the level of generative AI capabilities which we are talking about. And to talk about it more, there is a line which is mentioned here, the benchmarking or the model training will be increased by 80%. So what is this feature which they're talking about? So this feature is available in UiPath's data labeling session. So if you know about UiPath's AI center, it takes a lot of time for us to label the data, right? So let's go to the label studio. What I will do is I'll simply upload this document, which is our handwritten data. So I'll just say handwritten. Okay, I'll say upload. And let's use the predict or generative AI annotation feature. I will show you within this workflow. So within this video, so you can actually see all the capabilities of Gen AI, which are latest available in document understanding. So this is an amazing example and one of the best, uh, toughest document, which we tested and it worked literally with a hundred percent accuracy, which is, a uh, uh, a game changer for the industry. So I have a destination. So let's, let me check the change this destination, uh, country. You right. This is not allowed. Okay. Sorry for that. Destination country. Is it changing? The field name. Okay. Source country. Total fare. Uh, let's say flight date as well. Okay. And let's say the airline uh, name. So there are five fields which we just defined. Okay. Uh, okay. Overall, that's all. Now let's use this feature. In the label studio, there is a new feature called as predict or generative predict. So predict is a combination of generative with the pre-labeling model. And generative predict is a combination, is a predict with all the generative AI models. And model predict is pre-labeling not configured, see pre-labeling tab in the settings, right? So generative predict is a feature which is latest available in UiPath's document understanding document manager, which is what? Let's look at it. So I just click on generative predict and look at the magic what happens here. Now you don't have to spend huge amount of time in labeling these documents. Okay, by default, the OCR is used as UiPath's document OCR in the background. Look at this. The destination country automatically it picked as Singapore, which is not correct because this is the source. Uh, this is, oh, destination country is Singapore. Correct, correct. Source country, Tokyo. Since we use generative AI uh, capability within UiPath Studio and generative AI extractor, the country was automatically set to Japan 
And here, the source country is considering as Tokyo from here, right? Which is not accurate, but still the predict model is running correct. Total fare, it has not picked the value, which is this value, but it can totally pick it if I press O and you can, let's see, it picks the value, which is correct. Flight date is 8th of September. It's picking this value to Singapore and airline name is Biman Bangladesh Airlines. So this is the latest feature of generative predict, which took a very less amount of time for me to actually label that data. Now, once I have labeled it, moving ahead, no matter how many documents I upload, with a single click, I can simply predict the fields. I can correct them and just move ahead. This results in saving huge amount of time or huge amount of model training time by up to 80%. That's what we are talking about. And this is actually a real problem in the real industry. So when we give any document standing project, the estimation is highly depending upon the model training time and where a huge amount of high school resources are doing absolute uh, very low scale work, right? So that's being saved by using this latest feature of generative predict. And we also saw UiPath generative extractor. So let me know in the comment section if you like this feature, if you are going to use this feature, and if you have used it already, let me know which project you will use it for. And if you need more information, I will always be available on LinkedIn. So just connect with me on my LinkedIn, which is, uh, this is my LinkedIn profile. So you can connect with me anytime on LinkedIn and I'm happy to answer your questions. Thank you so much for watching this video and happy automation.